Okay, so here we go. We're going to get some cognate practice at the same time. We'll be practicing adjectives that we use to describe personality traits. So just looking at this list, we should be able to automatically pick out some very obvious cognates. For example, activo or activa. Of course, depending on whether we are describing a boy, a man, or any masculine object. And activa if we're talking about a girl, a woman, or any feminine object. Comico or comica looks and sounds a lot like comic or funny. So we would describe any masculine object or person as comico, and we would describe any feminine object or person as comica. Other examples would be extrovertido or extrovertida. Generoso or generosa. Impaciente. Now here's our first example that doesn't end in an O, so it's going to be unisex. A man would be impaciente and a woman would also be impaciente. We're only going to change to masculine and feminine the adjectives that end in O. Impulsivo. For example, we can change to impulsiva. Inteligente would be the same for a man or a woman. Interesante would also be the same in either its masculine or feminine form. Introvertido or introvertida. Irresponsable Paciente Responsable Sincero o sincera Now, just like our earlier example of Comico, looking a lot like comic, but not necessarily funny. Something we would able we would be able to get out of the context. Now we're seeing timido, defined as shy, but it does look a lot like timid. Timid and shy being synonyms. So we have to be a little flexible with our definitions. Timido or timida. So, for example, if I'm talking about a man named Carlos, describing him as active, I would say, Carlos es activo. If I'm describing Francisca, a woman who is very funny, I would say, Francisca es cómica. If I was describing Vicente, who is very extroverted, I would say Vicente es extrovertido. Notice the ending of the O for masculine and the ending of an A for feminine. If I was describing a girl by the name of Sofia, who is very generous, I would describe her as Sofia es generosa. If I was describing a boy by the name of Juan that is very impulsive, I would say Juan es impulsivo.